What's going on out here? You ready for this? Yeah, let me just change so I can look We got everything we need? Yo, what's up guys? Hey guys. We got something crazy today. Switch me, this one's mine. I know. Look, you can see they're specially formulated. They have like... Not formulated, but the amount depends on our weight. Yep. So Mega has 25, now is it milliliters or milligrams? I think it's milligrams. It says milliliters. Milliliters, okay. These are ketone monoesters. This is the only currently available brand making it ketone aid and you can't even buy these online. And these are like super expensive. Mm -hmm. Um, the guy sent them to us to give a try. These are like a form of exogenous ketones, but they're much more concentrated and like readily absorbed. And you guys can check out this ketone aid website for more info on exactly what these are because I don't even fully understand them. Typically they would, be, they would be for someone who is not keto, right? Yeah, so that's what he was kind of explaining to us. Someone not in keto, this will like simulate a five, five, day. five day fast or yeah. something like that. So you can like quickly adapt to keto maybe more easily. It could be one use of these. Right. He mentioned that someone had taken these after they had just finished a five day fast and it was like wasted because it, it mimics that yeah. five day fast. So like you want to take this. I mean, non keto person would be like clutch. We're going to measure everything. Yes. Right. We have the ketone meter and the blood glucose meter. So he said, ideally you start less than 1.0 millimolars per liter. So not that deep in ketosis because if you're like super deep, you won't see much of a difference with these. Right. And we have a video already on exogenous ketones, which I'll link below, which kind of like gives our take on them. These are made by like doctors. Yeah. Right? We keep saying he, it's like this ominous. Yeah. He said this. He's actually been chatting with us, the creator of this. So yeah, this is the world's first ketone ester. And we have it in our house right now, which is pretty cool. Five years ago, Dave Asprey, you know the guy who like is the bulletproof? bulletproof he paid 30 grand for this. 30 yeah. grand. It's crazy how far we've come with technology. Yeah. Ester. It's a ketone monoester. So I'm not 100% sure on this. This is just kind of my understanding of how this works. So the traditional ketones you'll see like by Prove It, by all these companies, the those BHP are salts. the BHB salts. Those are all binded to a molecule like sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium. Uh, so the amount you can actually intake is somewhat limited because you can't just be like pounding 10 grams of sodium, you know, to get right. like a ton of ketones. So these, um, I think are like free form. So you can get like a really high amount of them into your body without like having the, the problems of just ingesting so much calcium, magnesium, things right, like that. Right, other supplements. Obviously these are gonna be like the next thing maybe you'll hear about in the next like five to 10 years. This is where it's headed. For now we just have the ketone salts which marginal gains can be had from those. Right. You wanna do this? Oh. They taste horrendous. Apparently like yeah. very bad tequila. So we got all yeah, I'm, it's, it even says it on the bottle. It says chill, chug, chase. So it's basically an alcohol shot, but without the alcohol and probably worse tasting. What we're going to monitor when we take this is basically cognitive performance, how we feel, Clarity. productivity. We're not going to the gym. And yesterday we did a max push up test. And then today when we're high on ketones, we're also going to do a max push up test just to kind of have like some kind of physical comparison. So I did like just about 15, not good form push ups. I did 28. Yeah. Pretty good form. Eh. You be the judge though. I'm sure you'll yeah. say my form sucks. Uh, all right. So we are going to test ketones and glucose prior to 15 minutes after, 30 minutes after, 60 minutes after, and two, two hours. hours post taking the shot. Ooh, okay. 71.2? That'll set me up for a good test with this stuff then. Huh? I'd agree. Don't waste a ketone strip. Ooh. Okay, we're looking good. So he said between like b under one. So I think we are in for a treat. A I nervous. know, I'm kind of nervous. I almost feel like I did like the first time I ever did some kind of drug. I know, that, but that's <laughs> what I was thinking. I was like, what if it feels so good? I'm expecting this to be like a mushroom trip, but it's not gonna be like that at no. all. It's just gonna be like- Clarity. Yeah. 
Okay, so it won't be that intense. Smell it. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's like super sealed in there. It's like... Yeah. Came with this seal. Take off the cap and then there's another seal in there. It looks like it's gonna be Don't yum. spill it. Don't spill it. Whoa. It's just clear. Is it? It looks yellowish. Whoa. It smells intense. Do it. Three, two, one. Is it that bad? Yup. Make sure you get it all. Oh my gosh, it's that bad? It like coats your mouth. I can't do shots of alcohol either, which is like one of my weaknesses in life. Oh my gosh. Finish, finish. Wow. I feel like this helped a lot more because of like the fizziness. So nice to be done already. Matt's just chugging away. That I, is not like a thing. It just tastes like something you shouldn't be drinking. I really like, I'm a sucker for the placebo effect. <laughs> you think? Like I, you tell me this is gonna make me like. <clears throat> oh. Now that's a reaction to the, the drink for sure. Be able to like, I don't know, run as fast as the fastest runner. Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt. I will take this pill or this food, Same. and then all of a sudden I'll be like, Whoa, I think really I'm ready to run, guys. <laughs> like, I can do it. So Mega has 25 milliliters here. I have 45 milliliters. I'm definitely feeling something. I'm feeling like very... Yeah, me too. Like I'm when I started reading, energy. I felt like a little more, I think, clarity. Yeah. I feel almost like a little anxious, but definitely like high energy. And it's been like three minutes. This here is four servings of BHB salt equivalent. Mine is about like seven or eight times. It's about 15 minutes. 15 minutes, I'm ready to go. I have a slight tinge of a headache. What? 4.1. So a jump in 15 minutes from 0.6 to 4.1. Uh, blood glucose stayed solid, 72 to 74, no shift there. What do you want, Miley? You want to do a ketone test? You're not in ketosis. You've been carb loading for months now. 87. That's a decent climb. What was my glucose earlier? 71. That is a really decent climb. 16 blood glucose in uh, 15 minutes? 3.6 ketone? Okay. Okay, we're checking in at 30 minutes. And definitely feeling some stuff going on. Things are happening. Different, nonetheless. Feeling different. It's really hard to explain. Not like, I'm feeling like less emotion, just more like, gotta do stuff. 69, 4.1, what was your blood glucose the first time? 74. Whoa. Huh. 5.0 and 82. So that's a big jump in millimoles. I don't know what that really means though. I'm feeling good. I'm definitely feeling good. How added are the benefits? Just right. Just higher than the number. Yeah, that's something people are still trying to figure out, I think. But yeah, I've never obviously had a 5.0 reading before, so. It makes me wanna, like, like I feel really good. It makes me wanna, I can see how people sometimes get addicted to just like chasing the ketones, which I would not recommend, but it does seem like you feel a little bit better the deeper you get, the higher your ketone readings are to an extent. I've definitely felt better at lower levels for me. Um, I'm also, are you hungry at all? No. I'm hungry, but no. my blood glucose is a lot lower than yours. I was about to say I'm actually noticeably not hungry. A lot of saliva going on. Yeah, I'm getting that too. I have like... Money wants to do ketone aid. I want my ketones to be higher. So it's been like 45 minutes? 45. Push-up test. You didn't notice much uh, performance increase? No. Okay. I actually, it was really a struggle to do those. And it might be because my blood glucose is really low. And I'm sore. It might also be because you maxed out last night. I did chest day yesterday too. Yeah. 
It was harder than yesterday, wasn't it? No, I did a couple more. Um, yeah, but like not as well. Not as well? What do you mean? I thought I did them just as well. Oh, I would say not. The end ones. Well, I just felt like I 100% maxed out yesterday. Yeah. So I trying, and I just maxed out again. Oh, you said you did 30. I did more. Almost to a minute or an hour now to do the uh, one hour test. Who's Mr. 81? Kobe! I feel good. Like, I just want to, like, hang out and talk all day. I'm feeling good. Things are happening off of this ketone aid. Don't you sure. just want to, like, sit on the couch and be like, how are you doing, boo? Yeah, I was thinking we should watch Netflix all day. Were you really thinking that? Yeah. So, like, what would you compare this to? I would almost kind of compare it to, like, the feeling if you've had, like, Adderall. T that type of feeling. Yeah, because with Adderall... Is this okay to talk about? Yeah. Okay. So with Adderall, like, the feeling isn't consistent. Like, it might be with, like, I would assume, like, you know, uh, uh, amphetamine or something that, like, speedy. With Adderall, I notice, like, waves. Like, I'm high, and then I'm like, okay, gotta grind, gotta get stuff done. And then I'm high, and then, so it's like, that's how I feel right now. Yeah. Like, before, when we were just, like, I was waiting around, and, you know, I was like, this, I'm wasting time. Like, I don't want to do anything but work. But now, I'm like, let's... Let's go out and frolic. The one hour mark. Feel good. I want to work. A little jittery, actually. I would say the same. <laughs> okay, so was is that your peak now still? 4.3? Mm -hmm. Okay. Peak. At an hour mark. Okay. Interesting. Very. 3.7. My numbers are really moving a lot more than yours. That's interesting. But that's pretty normal with us in terms of just like... My body weight fluctuates a lot more. I don't everything know. fluctuates. I mean, yeah. Same with me. I mean, not with me. What do you got there? So someone, we didn't order it, someone shipped this to our house. It's an extra, extra large, and it says daddy on it. And it's off it of Amazon. Say, it doesn't say best dad ever, or like dad. It says daddy. It's ordered off Amazon, too. Ooh sent to this because you're a creep i definitely like the jitteriness has subsided big time for yep. me but i like zoned in and i wrote a post in like three minutes so neither of us still have we haven't eaten we've just had our morning coffees yeah i've had about 100 calories today i've had 50. whoa 59 blood glucose that's low yeah you feeling a little low yeah I should probably eat, right? Well, it's, we're gonna eat after this, I think, right? Okay, yeah. I mean, I feel like I just have to. Like, I could go without it, but... Pretty cool that the ketones are still, you know, 4.1, two hours later. They flowing. They, they flowing. flowing. They flowing. They flowing. They flowing. They flowing. <laughs> <laughs> so the camera was moving too, because Matt was dancing. <laughs> Mine's really dropping quick. 2.476. So maybe you're utilizing them? What do you, what? See, this is always your theory. Whenever I have a low ketone reading, Megan's always like, you're just using them better. But uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is. Okay, guys, so the experiment is kind of over. I still maybe feel some of the effects from it, but not really, right? Yeah, I, I feel pretty normal um, completely. There was no, like, crash. Like, we talked about how it compared to Adderall. Like, that's how I felt. Um, but, it's ten and a half hours since we took it. Yeah, but there's no like crash. You're not like, oh, I don't feel them anymore. It's kind of just like you transition back into like, okay, now I'm normal again. Yep. <laughs> or ethic wise. Yeah, so we've also taken the BHPs, the exogenous ketones, and completely different experiences. Maybe I've, I've felt a little bit, depending on like my ketone levels that at the time I take it, depending on when I took it. I guess like when I take exogenous ketones, I'm like, is something happening or not? Basically, that's like the whole feeling. It could be like the placebo. Yeah, yeah, you're so. like, am I feeling something? Uh, but with this, it was like, there's no like placebo effect going on. Like you definitely feel different. It feels in a sense like you're taking a drug, not in a bad way, but it's like there's definite physical signs that something's different. Yeah, the clarity aspect was the most like standout aspect for me. I also felt like mood enhancement, like maybe not through the duration, but at least at first I was Some, like, whoa, something's going on. Let's chat, like, this is fun. Yeah. For me, it was it phased, right? So like I first felt the clarity, then I felt the jitteriness and like I just wanted to get work done. I felt the appetite suppression throughout. Definitely felt a lot of appetite suppression. So like this is kind of what I would say about it is like if this thing costs $5, 
I would be taking it every single day, no questions. Like, it's very noticeable. That's another thing that we talked about on the phone when we talked to Frank, the CEO founder. We just talked to him. Yeah, he's a super down to earth, cool guy, very young. It was really cool talking to him. Because I want to, like, do it justice because I don't fully know what's going on. So I wanted him to kind of explain and, like, yeah. I want to, like, tell you guys what's up with it. So, like, on a gram per gram basis, like, actually how much ketones your body is getting, like, that thing, that bottle I drink is $120 retail uh that's not actually that expensive when you compare it to exogenous ketones right because if you're actually extrapolating out like how much you're getting like they're about the same and he's saying like when this thing comes to market it's actually going to be cheaper than exogenous ketones on like a gram per gram basis yeah <laughs> and when we called frank like the first thing i asked him is like are these like sanctioned by the right. nca because like of course everyone's looking for like the littlest tiny edge and this isn't a little edge, this is like something's happening big time. So I'm like, I'm assuming like LeBron James takes these all the time. He just maybe doesn't say he does. Cause like those guys are looking for all of the tiny edges and this is like a pretty substantial edge. And he said, yeah, it's like totally sanctioned. It's not even on like the watch list or anything. So I think maybe in the coming years, you'll you'll start hearing about like, I know cyclists take it a lot, but mm -hmm. I think you'll start hearing like, Other basically athletes. every athlete is probably gonna be taking this soon. That's at least my impression by taking it once. I'm like, yeah, this is something that people are gonna take. If we have the opportunity to take them again, I definitely want to hit the gym and yeah. see how I perform there. My initial impression, like I didn't really even know this existed until I stumbled upon this website and like reached out to the guy. My initial impression was like these ketone things, I'm not fully sure what's what's up with them, but now I think there's like a lot of promise. Obviously knowing that this thing exists yeah. in its current form, I can only imagine what it's gonna be like in five years or something. So I would say definitely keep your eyes peeled for like developments in this type of field. It also, for me, it like reaffirmed our belief in like how BHB salts are just like marketed in such a poor way. Like mm -hmm. the whole like weight loss, all that aspect. Yeah. Not a huge fan of that. This is made to be used also as a dual fuel source. That's like the way it's best used. So if you take like a huge amount of carbs as well as this, and then you just have so much energy available to like use in competition. Yeah, that'd be cool. If you ever get a chance to try this, I would say give it a try. Yeah. I think they said they're going to have a Kickstarter soon. Yeah, a couple weeks. Um, yeah, so we'll keep you posted on that. Is it worth $120? I guess it depends See, on what your use for them would be and where you are in like life. It's, yeah, it's like what's your money worth? Like what's money worth to you? If you have $120 to drop on something experimental. Supplements, yeah, as far as supplements go, like this is worth it because there's nothing really like this that I've ever tried before. Yeah. Outside of like, like, like pharmaceutical, like recreational and pharmaceutical drugs. drugs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would say if you have the budget, I'd say go ahead and try this mm -hmm. when possible. Then, you know, if you have the opportunity, definitely give it a try. So if you guys have tried these and not many people have tried them, so that's the thing. So it's cool, obviously, that we're in a position where we get to try stuff like this. It's incredible. But if you by chance have tried them, comment below and let us know what you think. Yeah, or if you would try them. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. See ya. Bye.